Ratchets come in many shapes and sizes and can tackle almost any job. Ratchets with socket attachments deliver more power and speed without slipping or damaging the bolt or nut. Just snap an interchangeable socket onto the ratchet and you're ready to get the job done quickly and properly. Versatile and easy to use, a ratchet tightens or loosens nuts and bolts in a continuous motion. It uses removable sockets that fit many different sizes of fittings and fasteners. To start, a steel bar travels into a shearing machine that cuts it into specific lengths. These pieces, called billets, will be used to make the ratchet. A machine feeds the billets into an induction coil, which heats them to about 1,000 degrees Celsius. A forge press then shapes the soft billets into ratchets. The first die creates the ratchet's general form. The second die gives it its finished shape. And the third die cuts off excess metal. The ratchets exit the forge press and fall into a collection box, where they cool. Then, a vertical milling machine prepares the body cavity to receive the internal working parts of the ratchet, called the gear assembly. A worker places the ratchet on a hydraulic press, which stamps the brand name and the on-off indicator on the ratchet's face. A lathe cuts away the rough, forged steel from the handle and trims off the end, making it ready to receive the hand grip. A worker grinds any rough edges off the machined ratchet. Then he crimps each side of the smooth handle so it will hold a rubber hand grip in place. The ratchets now undergo a three-stage tempering process that hardens and strengthens the metal. Ceramic stones and a chemical solution prepare the ratchets for nickel and chrome plating. A plating machine cleans the ratchets, then treats them to a nickel and trivalent chrome plating. The two platings make the ratchets corrosion-resistant and give them a bright cosmetic finish. A worker then lubricates the ratchet cavity, puts in an on-off switch, and a spacer to support additional components. A worker sets a retention ball onto a ratchet gear then a punch press locks it in place. Next, they fit a gear mechanism into the cavity, then attach all the internal components that control the movements of the ratchet. Once completed, the gear assembly allows or restricts movement. So, putting the assembly into either the on or off position is all it takes to tighten or loosen a nut or bolt. She then puts a rubber seal onto a cover plate and closes up the ratchet. She makes sure the gear assembly works properly. Finally, this machine friction fits a handle on the ratchet's shaft. Evolving from a steel bar to a finished product in 10 steps, the ratchets must undergo a final test of strength to prove they meet the highest quality standards. Ratchet sets are available in a variety of sizes. They're used for big and small jobs by handymen and professional mechanics alike. <laughs>